I've decided to make one small experimental game every single day for seven days. I'll also make a tiny behind the scenes video like this one each day to show off what I've made and to give you all a good look at what it's like being a game developer. Since coming back from an awesome trip in Canada, I've been a bit indecisive uncertain about the things I should work on next. I made a few tiny mobile games, for example, one where you protect a cute golden orb. Here's another with a bunch of chameleons. That was never completed. And finally, a Spelunky-like action game where you go deeper and deeper. But most of my time was spent overthinking. I needed something that would wake me up. I wanted to hustle hard and drop this futile search for the perfect project. Hence this little seven days of game development challenge. I would have about eight hours to make a tiny game and then a couple more to make the little video. I was feeling super fresh and eager to get to work. So I took my game idea book and began scribbling down ideas. Since I've recently been enjoying a bit of Fall Guys, I thought I could try and create a 2D version. I imagined a bunch of colorful squishy blobs all trying to get to the finish line. I'm always surprised by how ideas transform and warp throughout development. You just need to start making something, even if that thing is very vague and bit by bit the path will reveal itself. So soon I had all these bouncy creatures and I loved how animated and action packs that looked. But then they all get dispersed and we're kind of left with a basic platformer. So instead of a scrolling environment, I figured the game could be played all on one screen. This way we see all the hopping minions all the time. Like in Fall Guys, the last character standing would be victorious. But then I realized the simple AI I had set up didn't really stand much of a chance at dodging obstacles as opposed to the cunning player. What's more, there wasn't any real interaction between the player and a huge crowd of colourful beans. So I completely changed gameplay idea and decided your little white bean needs to eat all the poor jellies before a timer runs out. Cherry on the cake, fleshy golden eggs would fall from the sky and if the player collides with these, a bunch more jelly beans will spawn. I called the game Eat em, implemented juicy sound effects and a delicious soundtrack which are the only things I didn't make completely from scratch. You can play this tiny experiment right now for free using the link in the description. This was a really fun little project to work on and I'm happy with the end result. You can already feel that good creative momentum building up. So guys, what would you like to see me create next? Pitch your tiny experiment idea in the comments and I might very well use it for my next little project tomorrow. And I'll of course credit you in the next video. Remember to hit subscribe and like the video, it really helps. And I'll see you for another day of game dev tomorrow.